Okay, it looks like Cryptic has done it again. They've released another game that I'm absolutely in love with. Um, I'm a huge fan of Dungeons and Dragons, as most of my friends and family know. Um, I've been role playing ever since I was a kid, and a uh, big fan of DDO Online as well, or DDO D and D Online um, as well. Uh, what I wanted to do in this video, since this game is in open beta, I didn't want to give it much of a review. Although I will say it's a lot more polished than I thought it was going to be. Um, I was playing with a few friends yesterday, and uh, one of them was actually experiencing crashes. I don't know what his system was like, though. Um, they seem to be video card related, so there is a few crashes out there. Um, but I had an ex uh, outstanding experience with it, and uh, highly recommend it. Uh, what this video is going to do is walk you through character creation, show you how to roll a character, um, and also go through some of the very uh, beginning zones, give you a feel of how the game is going to be played. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click a new character here, and I'm going to choose the Dragon server, because that's where I'm at right now. I'm going to go ahead and skip the cinematic, and what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and be a male, and um, our racial uh, options right now, um, if you're familiar with the 4th edition, these are most of the core um, Dungeons & Dragons uh, player character races that you can get. Um, Half-Orc, Humans, Dwarf, Halfling, Elf, Tiefling, and Half-Elf. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a male orc, and we're going to call him something very cool, hopefully. And um, we're going to go ahead and click that. Um, so now the half orc is a um, half human, half orc, uh, and it's essentially a very brawn heavy fighter, uh, which I think is going to pair nicely with the weapon, uh, or sorry, with the great weapon fighter. Now this game takes more of a prestiged uh, or a paragon level approach to your your typical classes, rather than picking the WoW approach of uh, mage, warlock, wizard, or, or priest uh, fighter type uh, characters they actually split it down a little bit further uh, and allows uh, it's gonna allow for a lot more character classes to come in the future um, for instance we have the trickster rogue devoted cleric control wizard coming soon <laughs> the guardian fighter and the great weapon fighter so what we're gonna do is gonna go and pick the great weapon fighter because our orc looks so nice with that big two-handed sword um, the special abilities are sprint Punishing Charge, Avalanche of Steel, and Dungeoneering. We'll get into more of the skills here after we get the character created. Um, so if you're new to Dungeons and Dragons, um, this game actually makes the learning curve, I would assume, very easy. Um, Dungeons and Dragons is a six stat system. And what I mean by that is we have six core stats that we're going to base our abilities on. Strength, Constitution, Dexterity, Intelligence, Wisdom, and Charisma. Um, now, this game actually allows two racial bonuses that you'll actually get to pick to help tailor your character. Uh, one thing that's nice about this is it helps you as you're making your character know which is your primary stat and which two stats are considered your secondary abilities. Um, so since we are strength primary, we're going to want to make sure strength is in there and getting our bonuses. And we're going to go re-roll until we see a 20 on that strength. There we go. So 20 strength, 15 dex, 13 constitution. So our strength is how well we are physically. So 20 strength is very powerful. Um, constitution is how many hit points we have and how we're resistant to we are to things like poisons. Uh, dexterity is how agile we are. Um, it also helps when making saving throws on things that require reflexes. Uh, intelligence is how smart you are. Wisdom, how wise you are. Charisma, how well you're able to lead or how your personality is. Um, these are the six stats that have been in Dungeons and Dragons pretty much forever. Um, if you understand the concept of these stats, you're going to kind of know uh, how your character is going to be played. So since my character is going to have a lower constitution, my health is generally going to be a little bit lower than the Guardian Fighter would be. Uh, my Dwarf Guardian Fighter has a 20, a now 22, I believe, um, constitution score. So uh, less hit points means I'm a little bit more squishy. Although I am a fighter, I can still wear some of the heavier armor, so I've got that to kind of fall back on. Um, so the idea with the Great Weapon Fighter is I'll be going in there, I'll be doing damage, I'll try not to stand in front of the target. Um, if you're familiar with WoW, you know you can try to get behind the units, behind the mobs, uh, make sure you're not in the w standing in the way of the tank, and uh, deal as much damage as I can. 
we're going to go ahead and execute. Uh, one thing that I like here, since it is cryptic, we have quite a bit of customization that we can do on these characters. Um, so let's find a cool looking base. Oh, he looks pretty mean. Nice little gnarly scar on his cheek. That actually looks surprisingly a lot like me. <laughs> Minus the tusks and the forehead tattoo. But you know what? We can make this work, I think. Um, after you've chosen your uh, preset, you can actually customize that a bit further. Um, I like the hair styling. It's awfully neat. Uh, we're going to go ahead and say he's got nothing wrong with his eyes. Natural. Um, if we wanted to go blind in both eyes, we could. Definitely got to have the bushy eyebrows. Uh, nice little thick stubble. I like that. Complexion. Let's do rough complexion. Actually, I'm liking the old complexion a little bit better. He looks a little more battle hardened. Tattoo. We got to get rid of that tattoo. Oh, we lost our. We lost a little bit of the darkness under our eyes. See if we can find that again. Oh, that's pretty cool. The tree ghost. The rotting. The fading. Saloon. That's a little more elven than I'd like. Morose. There we go. Let's get a good. Let's get a good cheek scar. Okay. We can actually go through and customize our character a little bit more with preset body types and actually scale these individual pieces of the body. If you're familiar with Cryptic, then you know that they produce Champions Online. Champions Online is a great superhero game. It's also free to play now. I strongly recommend you guys check it out if you haven't. Um, I like the colors that we've got. Um, let's actually make, let's do one little change. Let's make these eyes a little green. Because, you know, our fighter is going to have a soft side, so the ladies will kind of warm up to him. And we've got our skin colors here we can choose from. So since we are an orc, let's get more of a more of the grayish color there. That's what our guy looks like in the buff. So that's it for character creation, really. Um, after we finalize the physical customizations, we're going to go ahead and choose a uh, base uh, deity, which will be used in the game. Um, these are our pretty much core deities that you'll find in the Forgotten Realms. Um, the Forgotten Realms, uh, here's something that's different from DDO. Uh, DDO is based in the Eberron campaign setting, which is a player-made campaign setting. It actually works really nice. Um, I am a huge, huge fan of the Forgotten Realms. Um, so many great characters and great stories have come out of the realms. Um, this game takes place in the realms. Um, so we have the realms pantheon. You'll notice some of the realm cities here. Um, so you'll be able to choose where you come from. Um, so let's see. Military tradition. Myth Draenor. Heart of Cormanther. We'll say military tradition. We don't want to be from Myth Draenor, though. We want to be from... You know, let's say we're from Luskin. We're an ex-gang member from Luskin. City of Thieves. And we are going to worship... I don't think Grumps is a choice. But you know what we worship Kellum for? God of Death. The Eternal One. Okay, so here's just an overall of our character. Here we can uh, type in a little bit of biography about our characters. For you role-playing fans, this game and Cryptic make it very easy for you to dive into that character. Um, I imagine we're going to see a ton of different role-playing guilds and role-playing events on different servers, um, which would I would only assume um, that they would eventually create role-playing specific servers to cater toward that hardcore D&D group, um, which I'm assuming is going to be playing this game. Um, you know what, I think we can fill in that biography later, so let's do that. Um, and let's give him a nice, uh, orcish name. 
like Reginald. That's orcish, right? Nah, I know what you're thinking. Too, too royal. Uh, Walter. Nah, too human. How about, um... How about Doc? Doke. There we go. Doc has been created. One syllable orc word. Those are the best. Look out! Struggling! Okay, so here we are starting out. It looks like we've got some other great weapon fighters here. I'm assuming based upon their little skibbies that they're wearing. And uh, this game is going to move around and play like a lot of different MMOs. Space bars jump, W, A, and S, and D move around. Uh, one thing that's different of this game is that I actually control my mouse while in camera by moving the mouse. Um, I can also hit Alt and go into mouse mode, where then I can go and click on certain things, chat window, whatnot, these different screens. Um, so that makes very uh, it makes for a very fluid play experience. Uh, I'm gonna. When I saw the attack, sorry, this is my business. I'm gonna skip on a lot of the different lore here because I've already gone through it, and um, I want you guys to experience that for yourselves. F to interact with characters and objects. Okay, so F is our main interact key. So anytime that we're going to be interacting with anything, it's going to be with the F key. Okay. Press I to open your Get that. Double click and Great sword click. equipped. Press your key to toggle mouse cursor and mouse look modes. Okay. Uh, one thing that's also nice about this game is we've got this handy dandy trail that we can follow. And I believe you can hit uh, Z to turn that on or off for you more hardcore players out there. Um, like I said, this game feels very polished. It feels like a natural release, um, even though it's beta. I am completely blown away with how what Kirkwood has done with this game. Uh, my brother actually called me yesterday and said, hey, we're playing, we should get on. And um, so I got on, and we played for quite a few hours, and the time just good flew to by. It's good to All see right, we're going to go ahead and turn this quest in, Although get the next one. The, main force, the battle is far from over. Um, so if you're not familiar so with the 4th edition rule sets, uh, you're generally going to have uh, three different types of powers. You've got your at-will powers, which are represented right here by these green abilities. Um, you're going to have your daily abilities and your different... Um, encounter abilities so essentially at will there's no cooldown the encounter there's a little cooldown and the daily abilities you have to wait till your d20 fills up before you can use them so you need a certain amount of action points which you get through fighting and taking damage all right so we're just gonna uh, murder some marauders and rescue these soldiers for our first quest so we have another soldier here and we're just going to them, pressing F to interact with them, and that's how we're giving them the first aid. I played a little bit of the PvP yesterday, that was very fun, with their domination battleground type. Oh. You notice right here, on the right side of the screen, we've got our mini-map. We also have the um, quest interface that lets you know where we're at on those certain quests. And we've done with that quest, so we're going to go through here and find McCourt's camp. And I'm not quite sure what my video settings are set to. Let me check really quick. Maximize, so we're quality maxed out. Um, as far as the basic settings go. Lighting quality high. So I think the game looks great. Again, this is free to play. So you're not losing we anything besides the time it takes to download if you don't like it. I'm afraid I'm okay, so we've leveled up. And we're all about leveling up at Let's Level Up. So let's take a look at this. Um, so we got another at-will ability called Sheer Strike. 
which Sure Strike does, and we swing our blade in a series of narrow slashes, followed by a powerful downward slam. Damage is slightly reduced after the first hit. Um, Reaping Strike. Hold the button down to pair a powerful swing of strikes. It grows in strength as long as you charge it. Um, we also... Oh, actually, we don't have any points. We just got that. Normally, what we'll do is we'll actually get ability points that we can spend to upgrade these abilities to up to three different ranks. Um, so you can see here, here's kind of a breakdown of how the character will work. As you also level up at key levels, you'll get feats where you'll be able to basically specialize your character out even further until you eventually get to Paragon on a certain path. Alright, let's do this next quest. We're collecting nine sets of Press arrows. The right mouse button to charge reaping strike for extra okay. damage. There's three arrows right there. Here's an interesting character that we can talk to. I will answer your questions if I can. But do not Valindra had a Dracolich under her control when she attacked Neverwinter. It attacked ships in the harbor, and then came straight for the city. My friends and I were helping Sergeant Knox oh, to cool. when it attacked. There was a terrific battle, and we were able to defeat it. Just obliterating these skeletons with one shot. Feels good. Oh, we're in combat, so it's not letting us interact with that. Okay, that's all of our arrows that we need to collect. The quests run very fast, and I'm surprised at the level. Again, I'm kind of blown away by what Cryptic has done with this game in um, the amount of time they had, slash the aggressive release, uh, release cycle, slash um, really the overall free-to-play model. You know, uh, when I think of free-to-play games, I don't think of quality. Um, which a well, lot of games are attacking you know, Neverwinter. They're boiling out of Castle Never. League of Legends and, and whatnot the are really kind of turning that around. If the bridge falls, they will enter the heart of the city. Protectors on clay. I must stay and deal with the Red Wizards. Please go to the bridge and aid the defenders. Destroy the undead oh, soldiers near. There we go. You can press that and dismiss him. Press Q to ease a low spinning strike to your enemy's legs temporarily. <laughs> Okay, we gotta go and kill these guys. I will say the difficulty in this game uh, on my Guardian Fighter it has seemed very easy. Um, I don't know if there are going to be harder modes in some of the instances and some of the quests. Or I can kick up to a heroic difficulty or something to make it more Hello, challenging. You're looking a um, deal fiercer than when you washed up on the beach. Told you. But it's it's Let's it's not as complex as I would like. To to um, so this is the primary way to switch between the different instances of traveling. Um, so right now I'm in the battlefield. If I wanted to switch the sleeping bridge in, or sorry, the sleeping dragon bridge. Um, click on that, click OK, and then it will t basically teleport me to an instance of that zone. Oh. And a movement key to sprint away from an enemy's attack. Okay, shift is my uh, class ability. Look out. It's a way for me to avoid damage. Which is pretty awesome. Okay, so I've got a stamina bar up there. Okay, that's interesting. I guess it's a way for me to avoid uh, balancing issues. And the Guardian Fighter's uh, primary ability is the block mechanic, and I can actually block and come damage with the shield. It's pretty awesome. <clears throat> What's up, Undead Soldiers? Alright. 
right. And we're almost here at the end of this little zone. Like I said this game plays extremely fast. Oh, I was trying to block and I couldn't because I'm not that class today. Oh, we got a white here. As in traditional with most MMOs, just stay out of the red stuff. It's gonna do you no good. Um, so there it is, level four. Let's see what's new with level four. Oh, we got our daily power. Go ahead and use the daily power up here on this group of guys. Oh, that was cool. Oh, we did it. Not. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong key. There we go. Oh, that was great. Whirlwind attack. You gotta like that. Oh, spoiler alert, guys. Our private doesn't make it. That was hard to watch. Never gets easier. Should be holding shift to get out of that combat, but I'm not. Okay, this guy is a little bit more challenging only because I'm not playing this class right um, than it was my Guardian Fighter. Maybe the Guardian Fighter is just kind of out of balance. That's possible. It's a new game. Go. Some nice damage on that way. Oh, sh should have got out of the way. Went for one more hit and got dropped to the ground. I'm at half health. It looks like we're going to take this guy out though without any more issues. We don't use potions on this channel. Sorry, you have poor Wilfred didn't isn't gonna make it. Okay, and I believe we're gonna be at the town now. So we're actually in Neverwinter now, and this is where you can get uh, some of the extra stuff in the game. Um, that's it. That's a basic overview: how to create a character, going through initial first zone. Um, I would say definitely download this game and check it out while you can. Um, they've been doing this contest where a certain box is dropped that contains a mount. And um, in order to unlock the box, you have to buy the currency of Zen. Um, and then with your Zen, um, I'm sorry, buy with real money. And with your Zen, you'll be actually able to turn that into keys where you can unlock this box for a chance at this mount. Um, so I actually tried the five dot five dollar five hundred Zen um, crossover, and it did not get the mount, unfortunately. But I thought it was still pretty neat, and I can actually show you the mount I'm talking about. Um, it's right there, that armored nightmare, which Doc would look great on. So yeah, that's it. I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys like Neverwinter. Um, definitely check it out because it's well worth it. Thanks so much for watching. Game on.